Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Wesley So and Alonso Zapata. This game was played in Las Vegas in 2015. Player with the black pieces in this game, Alonso Zapata, is famous for beating Vishanand in six moves. In this game, Wesley So had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening, maybe g6, e4, bishop to g7, d4, d6, the king's Indian defense, knight to c3, knight to c6, bishop to e3, knight to f6, white to move, f3 is the most played move in this position. The same-ish variation. Wesley so played d5, the Averbach variation. Knight to e5, f4, knight from e to d7, white to move. Knight to f3 looks like the most natural move. Wesley so played knight to h3 for a reason. Zapata castled kingside, bishop to e2, e6, d takes on e6, f takes on e6, and now bishop to f3. That is why Wesley Saw so played knight to h3. Queen to e7. Wesley Saw so castled kingside 2. a5, intending knight to c5, preventing b4. Queen to d2. Knight to c5. White to move. White loves to trade his dark square bishop for the black dark squared bishop. But sometimes you have to take what the position offers. Bishop takes on c5 was played. D takes on c5. White now has two pawn islands and black has three. That means that white has a better pawn structure, but black has a bishop pair. e5. Attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to d7 b3, bishop to h6, rook from a to e1. Should I mention that white has a better development? Nah, I will not mention that, it's obvious. Rook to f5, queen to e2, black to move. Zapata seriously considered winning the pawn, but then he rejected that variation and played Knight to b8. The knight is on the way to d4, but it all takes time. Let's take it back. Why didn't Zapata take on f4? What do you think is the reason? What can I do in this position? This is what Wesley so intended. Knight takes on f4, and after rook takes on f4, then knight to d5. After e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, check. King to h8, rook takes on f4. And white is winning. Back to our game. Knight to b8. Like I said, the knight is on the way to a juicy d4 square. The game continued. Knight to e4, king to h8. If knight to c6, then knight to f6, check. And after king to h8, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop g4. Winning the exchange. Back to our game. King to h8. Queen to e3, giving more protection to the pawn on f4. And in some variations threatening to win the pawn on c5. Knight to c6. White can play. Queen takes on c5. Wesley so chose a sharper continuation. g4, attacking the rook. Rook to f7. Knight from h to g5. Rook to f8. If bishop takes on g5, knight takes on g5. So we have rook to f8. Knight to f6. Bishop takes on g5. f takes on g5. Knight to d4. The black knight reached his desired destination. Bishop to e4, 
queen to g7. White stands better. Thanks to that well-placed knight on f6. But how can white improve his position? What would you do? Are you ready to see the move? First, I'd like to say that most people would not play this move with the white pieces. The knight is so nicely placed on f6. But instead of playing something like h4 and trying to win slowly, Wesley so played knight takes on h7. What a move. What a move. Black to move. Rook takes rook. If king takes knight, then rook to f6, and if something like bishop to d7, queen to h3, check, forcing the king to go to g8, and then rook takes on g6, winning the queen back to our game. Zapata played rook takes rook, check. Rook takes rook. And in this position, Zapata resigned. If queen takes knight, one line goes like this. Rook to f8, check, king to g7, queen to f2, knight to f5, bishop takes on f5, e takes on f5, queen takes on c5, and white wins. And let's go back. How about king takes on h7, then rook to f6, and if something like bishop to d7, then check, king to g8, rook takes on g6 and white wins. I like how Wesley so builds the attack and in the end uses tactics to win. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.